Hello, welcome back to my kitchen. Today I'm showing you how to make this delicious catfish stew. Subscribe so that you don't miss a recipe. We need only a few ingredients for this recipe. We have tomatoes, fresh ripe tomatoes. I also have tatashe here and it looks so pretty you guys. <laughs> the amount of tatashe and amount of tomatoes you use will affect the taste of your stew. So I like to use more tatashe than tomatoes or keep them on equal amounts. I also like to use a lot of onion for this stew. You can use less. I'm using a red onion and a white onion. The red onion is more flavorful, but the white onion tends to be sweeter. Those are the flavors that I want to be in this stew. So you can choose to use just the red onion. If you can't find the white onion, just use any onion that you like. I have to blend the tomatoes so what I'm doing is just opening them up before I blend it because I've had many scenarios where I open up my tomatoes and I can find worms in them so this is a step I do not skip <laughs> no matter how much of tomatoes I have to blend I always open them up to avoid you know eating what I don't know also cutting it into smaller pieces makes blending easier I'm also going to do the same for the tatashi. I'm going to open it up. If you do not want your hands to be hot after doing this, you can rub a bit of vegetable oil all over your hands, your palms, so that once you open it up like this, you can just easily wash it off. I don't like to add water when I'm blending, so I just put a little amount of the tomatoes and tatashi first. Once I blend that little portion, I can then add more to fill up the blender. I'm also blending with some pepper, so I added some atarodo. It wasn't a lot because it was the habanero kind of pepper that is very, very hot and spicy. So I just added about three of those and I blended it with the tomatoes. So we have tomatoes, tatashe, onion and pepper. That's what I'm using. Now I'm going to set this tomato pepper blend in a pot and allow it to cook till it reduces. This also reduces my main cooking time so I always like to do this and I always like to have this mixture at home so that it's easier to maybe make a sauce or make a stew. While that is boiling, I'm going to prepare the catfish. So I have lime that we can use to wash the catfish. You can also use salt. I will make a video showing you how to wash um, catfish and to keep it clean. So we're just going to wash it. I'm going to season it. I'm seasoning with just some salt and some seasoning cubes. And I'm also adding some paprika. I'll mix everything together and we are going to grill it. You can make the stew with just the fresh catfish without grilling or frying or anything, but I like the fish to be firm in the pot and I also don't like it fresh sometimes. So I wanted it to be grilled and I wanted a bit of that smoky flavor that comes with using a, a grill with charcoal and everything, just to add more flavor to the stew. Thank you. 
while I was grilling the fish, if you notice some of them were sticking to the grill and some easily turned. The ones that were sticking were not cooked. So you just give it time so that you do not rip the skin of the fish off. Once I'm satisfied with the way it's done, I'm going to take it off the heat. I don't want it to be dry. I just wanted the outsides to be cooked and for it to be firm and to have, of course, that smoky flavor. I'm going to set it aside and we're going to start with the stew. So I'm going to pour some palm oil in a pan. You can use vegetable oil, but to get a rich, hearty, warm flavor, I want to use palm oil. This is a stew my mom used to make when I was younger and I just wanted to remind myself of that. <laughs> So I'm heating the palm oil so that it does not have, um, there's a taste that palm oil has if you don't heat it up. So I'm not bleaching it, I'm just heating it up a bit so that some of the smoke can go out and so that the flavor can change, the flavor of the palm oil. Palm oil is so interesting because if you bleach it, you get a different taste. If you don't bleach it, you get something else. And if you heat it up a bit, it's still another taste, like it's so, so amazing. Once I'm satisfied with how hot the oil is, I'm going to add the onion. I'm adding a lot of onion, so I cut two onions and that's what we're using for this recipe. So I'm just going to fry the onion a bit and this takes about two to three minutes. And I know that seems like a long time, but it's just when you fry onion, you bring out the taste and the flavor of the onion when it is softened, like it has such a lovely flavor. This is what we're trying to bring out by frying it for about two to three minutes. So just be patient. So now I'm going to add our tomato tatashi pepper onion mixture that has been blended and boiled and reduced and we're just going to fry that. So I'm using a wide pan because I wanted it to fry. If you use a deeper pot it will boil. So it depends on the cookware that you have. Whenever I'm making stew I like to use a wider pan and because I'm using fish I do not want the fish to scatter so that's why I'm using also the wider pan. So if you use a deeper pot the, the flavor you get will be different. So even the cookware that you use affects the taste of the food you're cooking. I'll season with just some salt and some seasoning cubes and that is all. Like this stew does not require anything extra because all the flavor is already in there, in the palm oil, in the onion, in the pepper blend and the richness also comes with the catfish that we're going to add to it and you know that catfish has been grilled, smoked so it's going to bring it its own rich flavor and that's what you want to taste in this stew. There are so many ways to make stew and there are so many flavors of stew you can get. If you don't know the options that you have, I have a cookbook that has a few recipes that you can try out and also on this channel I have a few stew recipes that you can check out. If you do not have any of my cookbooks, get at least one. I have one that I released just in December. You can get that one or you can get the first cookbook that I have which is a time to eat or you can get all two <laughs> you can get both of them and you can see recipes that you will actually love these are digital cookbooks so all you need to do is download them through the link in the description box and they come straight to your phone so you always have your recipe on hand so if you notice I'm cooking this stew on medium to low heat first of all to avoid the splattering of the stew and then second of all to just give it a nice flavor. When you cook your food on medium to low heat, it just brings out and releases proper flavor for you. So make sure you try cooking your stew like this. You only have to be patient. You have to stay around and just keep stirring so that it doesn't burn. I added a bit of water to release 
the texture of the stew so if you want your stew to be very thick you can leave it like that or you can just add water if you have some water or if you have some stock but I didn't want to interfere with the fish flavor I had going on here so I just added water now I'm introducing our smoked catfish and this is towards the end of the stew once i've tasted that the stew is ready you can have the stew with yam with a wedu and a mala what i wanted to have it with was white rice and it was so delicious it was so rich so it just was like a taste of my home how i grew up that was what the taste was like and i loved it i hope you try this recipe if you do tag me on social media send me a message i would love 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 to see it if you watch this video and you enjoyed it up to this point don't forget to click the like button and subscribe i'll see you in my next video bye